If the North was so against slavery, why did it allow slave states that didn't join the Confederacy to fight with them? The abolition of slavery was a complex issue in the Civil War era, and the motivations and attitudes of individuals and communities in both the North and the South varied widely. While the North generally had a greater number of anti-slavery advocates, there were also many Northerners who were not actively opposed to slavery or who had economic or political interests that aligned with those of slaveholders. During the Civil War, the primary goal of the Union Northern forces was to preserve the unity of the country and to prevent the Southern states from seceding and forming a separate nation. While President Abraham Lincoln and many other Northern leaders opposed slavery, they initially did not see the abolition of slavery as a primary objective of the war. In order to build and maintain support for the war effort, the Union allowed the states that did not secede to continue practicing slavery. This was a political decision rather than a moral one, and it reflected the complex and often conflicting interests and attitudes of the time. It was only later in the war, as it became clear that the abolition of slavery would be necessary in order to secure the defeat of the Confederacy, that President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared that all slaves in Confederate-held territory were free. This was a major turning point in the war, and it helped to solidify Northern support for the abolition of slavery and for the Union cause.